I'm going to start uh, this video by asking you a question. Uh, I'm going to make an, first make an attempt to draw a flute. Right? So this is supposed to be a flute. Right? Let us see whether I'm able to draw a flute. Right? Something like this and then goes like this, the lip of the, and there are a few holes out here, right? And this is the lip of the flute and here we blow air, right? The question I have is that, did you ever wonder as to how this flute is able to produce melodious sound? What happens inside this flute to produce that melodious sound? And uh, it turns out that the flute produces what we know, what we uh, call as stationary or standing waves, right? So when you blow air over here, stationary waves are produced inside this flute, which uh, give rise to the melodious sound that we hear. Right? So the objective for us over here is to understand what are stationary waves. We have already discussed progressive waves. Let's try to understand stationary waves. Uh, I'm going to break up this uh, video into two parts. Uh, to, first, to understand stationary waves, we need to understand the concept of bounded medium. So in this video, I'm just going to restrict myself to the concept of bounded medium. And in the next video, we will go and try to understand, we'll try to understand what stationary waves are. So uh, let, us, let us try to understand what we mean by a, a bounded medium. Right? So let us take the example of this flute. Right? We blow air, air over here, the air starts vibrating, right? Since sound is a longitudinal wave, this air column would start vibrating back and forth into this, and this wave would travel in this direction, right? We have atmospheric air on this side, and we have atmospheric air on this side, and the air is getting, uh, the air is vibrating inside this particular column. So this air column, which is there inside this flute, I mean, which is vibrating, has got two very clear-cut boundaries. So this is one and this is the other boundary. Beyond this, we have atmospheric air, which is not vibrating. Right? So this is what we call as a bounded medium. It is bound on two sides. Uh, let me explain, let me give another example. Let us see, let us say we have a st stretched string. Let us say these are the two rigid supports and let us say we have a string over here. Right? These are the two rigid supports. We know that when we plug this string, it will start vibrating back and forth and produce maybe a feeble sound. Right? This is also is an example of a bound medium. This particular string which is vibrating and which is the medium in this case is, is bound over here. Right? It doesn't extend beyond this. It doesn't go beyond this. It is only this part which is vibrating. So this is also an example of a bounded medium. Bounded medium can be of two types, closed or open. Sometimes we also use the word rigid for closed and for open we use free. Right? If you go, if we take this particular example, we can see the medium over here is fixed, is rigid, it cannot move beyond this. So this is an example of a rigid or a closed bounded medium. It is closed at both the ends. It is rigid at both the ends. It cannot move beyond this. So this is an example of a closed or a rigid bounded medium. If you go back to the example of flute, what we find over here is the air over here starts vibrating. And outside here we have atmospheric air. So this particular vibrating medium, which is air, is in contact with the air outside. So here we call this as an open medium. Right? It is bounded over here, but still we call it, we call it an open medium. Same is the case over here. The air is vibrating over here. It is in contact with air outside. Right? And here also it may be open. If the flute is open at this end, this air which is vibrating over here is in contact with atmospheric air. We call it an open or a free end. But there are flutes, you know, wherein this is closed. Right? This, is closed. this end is closed. In such a case, we will this air which is vibrating over here is not in contact with the air over here. In that case, we will call it a closed medium, a closed bounded medium. So here it will be open and here it would be closed. So these are some of the examples of bounded medium. And bounded medium are necessary to produce stationary or standing waves. There is another in one interesting aspect of uh, closed and open bounded mediums, which we will discuss now. Uh, let, uh, let, us, let us say, or let me draw over here, let me draw it over here. Let us say we have, let us say this is a closed boundary of a medium. This is a closed boundary of a medium, the way you have a closed over here or like this. This is a closed boundary. And let us say there is a wave which is traveling 
direction like this. Right? So this is a wave which is traveling in this direction. This is the incident wave. When it reaches over here, it reaches and then starts reflecting. It, then it gets reflected and starts moving in this direction. Right? When it starts going in the reverse direction, what is observed is that the reflected wave has a phase difference. Has a phase, has a phase difference equal to pi. Right? So this wave which uh, which reflects as a uh, goes back with the phase difference of pi therefore what will happen is if I, if i draw the reflected wave if i draw the reflected wave over here right it will look like this this wave is the wave which is going in the reflected wave and going back in the reverse direction and you can see a phase difference of pi how let us see how this there's a phase difference of pi over here if this wave, wave would have gone ahead, right, it would have gone like this, right, and then gone down. A phase difference of pi would mean is equivalent to phase difference of lambda by 2, right. So this particular part, this is lambda by 2, would get eliminated and the wave would start from the mean position and then go down, right. That is what is observed over here, it's starting from the mean position and going down. This particular part, this particular part is removed or eliminated. Right? And it starts from the mean position going down, which is seen over here. Thus, we say that there is a phase difference of pi. So this is what happens when we have a closed medium at one end. Let us see what would happen if uh, there was an open medium. In case of an open medium, what is seen is that there is no phase difference. The phase difference is zero. In such a case, how would this wave look like? The incident wave and the reflected wave. So again, I will show, let us say this is the open or free end of the medium and let us show a let us show a incident wave going in this direction so it reaches over here this is the incident wave it reaches over here and it reflects back when it reflects back it reflects with zero phase difference so how will it look like uh, let me show it over here this is how it will look like so this is the open or the free medium. It comes back with zero phase difference. So it will look something like this. Let us try to understand it over here. If this, if this boundary would not have been there, this medium would have gone in this direction. So you can see it starts from here and goes up. Right? That is what is seen over here. It will start from here and go up because there is no phase difference. It has to immediately, the reflected wave to immediately start from here and go up from the mean position. So you will have a wave going like this. This is the direction in which it's going. This is how the reflected wave moves. So these are two, some very interesting aspect of uh, bounded mediums and how they change the phase difference in the reflected wave. And this is what is happening in this particular fruit. The wave starts over here. It reaches this closed or open medium, reflects back. Right? It goes back over here. Again, air is blown over here. Again, you have an uh, air column vibrating in this direction, back and forth, going over here, getting reflected and coming back. And in the process, producing st stationary waves. And these stationary waves, as I said earlier, produce musical sound. Uh, I'll stop over here. Uh, we have yet to discuss what exactly we mean by a standing or a stationary wave, which we'll do in the next video. Right? Thank you.